Well, I have much time on here. I just had 17 minutes. That means I have to delete some stuff off my phone, y'all. Hi, y'all. How everybody doing? I'm doing okay. I was just sitting here doing some thinking. Thinking what I could come on here and talk about. So I have to be something fast because I don't have that much time on here. That's why I'm not doing a lot. Okay. How about you have somebody who really is a good, 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 good friend? And you call him your best friend. And as for ladies, this happened to be a guy. Which I do have. He's my best, 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 best friend of all. Yes, he is. Very good. Put me there, catered to me, and, you know, and, but we both know we're just friends. We've been knowing each other for over 50 some years. Just good, good friends. As a matter of fact, he was here today. He, he came way down to take me to my appointment. Took me to the grocery store. Even took me over to my ex house. Cause I had to go over there for something. Which they know each other anyway. But he took me there. And, and um, while, while I had my appointment, which he didn't go up there with me, he had never been to this place before, but I told him where I was at in the building. And the time I was coming out, he was coming in the door. In the office. He actually used the bathroom. They gave me the keys so he got out to use the bathroom. And all of a sudden, the two ladies at the desk were sitting there and said, You have a real good husband. He really catered. He said, Husband? I said, You talking about that guy? I said, my, He's not my husband. They said, Well, your man. I said, He's not my man. He's my friend, my best friend. And I told him. We've been best friends for over 50 years. And then this new chick girl that worked there, she's very sweet. She said, she said, he's the one. That's the one for you, Miss Parker. I said, no, I don't look at him like that. Another lady, she was saying something. There was another lady in another office. She was putting her comments in off so you know. She said, yeah, he said, no, he's a really good guy. I said, I don't think these ladies don't know that man. They just seen him. But I said, he is a good person. He's a real, real good person. Then after they knew we had been friends for over 50 some years, that was it for him. This oh yeah, oh yeah. He's the one, he's the one. That's the man you need to marry. And then I said, wow, I don't know. I said, I had other people telling me that. I said, especially my daughter. I said, she's been saying that too. I said, but I don't look at him like that. We don't look at each other like that. Then, then one of them spoke up. But how do you know how how did he feel about you? I said, um, sometimes I think he, he got, you know, think some kind of feeling there. Sometimes I think it is. But I always put him in check just to let him know, you know, we're just friends. That's it. Very good friends, though. When I say good, we really, really are good, close friends. Talk about anything with one another, you know. If we're able to do anything for one another, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. No matter how many years we may have even seen each other, you know, we're still there. We're still, you know, still that good, close friendship is still there. But no, they kept saying, they said, well, your daughter is right then. That that's, I said, mm. I said, I would know. I think I would know if he's the one, you know, because I can't see it. I don't know why, but me and him, we, we are alike in many ways. Different things we talk about, I said, and he said, Dolph, you know one thing, I done the same thing too. You know? I thought, yeah. You know? <laughs> and we, we, we're the same age. Our birthday just a few months apart. You know? And, um, but it just got to me in the office. They kept on saying, oh, they look at him, how he is with you. How he can, just that little bit of time just seeing this man. And I've been hearing this all along from my daughter, from my granddaughter, and, you know, maybe a few others. I said, uh, I don't look at him that way. He's my friend, my good, good friend. You know? But with them doing all that talking and stuff, it had me thinking. I was home this evening after he came here. And he was so sweet inside the store. He kept walking there with me, you know? It helped me to get my things, what I want in the store and stuff, and um, be sure he parked a certain way. He said, because he remember the last time, that's why I fell over there, out with him. 
Because dog, I, I don't want to see that happen to you again. Because dog, you just stay right here. I'm going to come get this. He came and got my shopping cart and took it out with his truck and said, you just wait till I do all this. Then he came and got me. Bless his heart, you know. And um, he came here. He bought everything in the house. I said, let me help you because it was two big 35 packs of water. And um, I had some other grocery, but he said, no, I got it. I'll get everything. You, you go ahead. You just go in the house do what you got to do. And bless his little heart. Like I said, he's a very good, good friend, you know. But then it had me kind of thinking, you know, after he left and he always he always said goodbye, gave me a hug. And he'll tease me and say little things, you know, but I'm going to pay him the mind. So, boy, you better get out there and stop playing. Stuff like that, you know. Then he said, I call you when I get home. I said, okay, which he always does. I was always tell him, let me know you made up that road, you know. But he don't live here in Annapolis, you know. So, um, he did. He got home. He called. He called. Let me know he was in safe and stuff. But I was just thinking. I said, I know they can't be right. My daughter had me thinking like this one time, too, before about it. And I kept thinking and thinking and thinking. I said, I'm praying to God, asking God to send me to... You know, if he got somebody for me. But um, I say no, that wouldn't be Jerome. He wouldn't do that to me. <laughs> me say it like it, but because Jerome is a very good person, he really is. He's a hardworking man, you know, out there and stuff. And he he got a heart of gold. He help anybody if you're able to do it. Always ask for my family, ask for my children. Always be concerned. When, when they're sick or something wrong with them, you know? But, um, I don't know. What y'all think about that? Huh? Oh, I don't know. I just had to come on there with that. Cause I was just sitting back thinking about it, you know? I ain't told my daughter this stuff yet, but these ladies in their office, she probably see this, though. And she be ringing my phone off hook. <laughs> okay. Wow, I just I just had to share that thing because it was I was thinking about it, you know. But um, I still look at him as my very best friend. He would be the man if my son was not available. Jerome would be the man I would want to walk me down the aisle. Yes, he would be the one if my son wasn't there, because my you know my fathers are deceased. My father and my stepfather they're both deceased. So, that's how I look at it. Okay. I don't know. I have to talk to the Lord a little more about this. Well, anyway, you all have a wonderful, blessed evening. Some of y'all might be morning. Whatever it is, wherever you are, and just be safe. And just know that I love you. But most of all, Jesus loves you.